A Meridianville woman is now the latest victim of a catalytic converter theft. Two suspects were seen on camera committing the brazen act in broad daylight while the woman was inside her church. Way 31's Xavier Wary joins us live from Meridianville Church of Christ tonight where that crime happened. And Xavier, you spoke with an auto mechanic about this ongoing issue as well as one of the victims. Marie and Dan, the victim of this crime is pretty is pretty upset, excuse me, that all of this took place again right here in the parking lot behind me at Meridianville Church of Christ as she looks to replace her catalytic converter, which could cost her at the very least $1,700. And earlier today, I spoke with an auto mechanic in Huntsville to see if people can prevent this type of crime from happening to them. We all can be victims of anything and the way that things are now it, it doesn't surprise me. Kathy Barron is the woman whose catalytic converter was stolen off her new 2022 Kia Sorento a week ago. She did not want to show her face on camera but here you can see surveillance footage of that crime which took place in broad daylight right before noon. Barron says she was here at the church with her sewing ministry when it happened. Evidently they are targeting the newer cars because you can they can get more money whenever they sell them. It's a crime which takes very little time for thieves to strike. They can get a sawzall and get under there in 30 seconds to a minute, have it uh, stolen and gone and never even realize it. And today, Kevin Call with Kevin's Auto Repair showed me how costly parts are underneath your car and what thieves are aiming to steal. This is a diesel particulate filter. It's kind of like a catalytic converter for diesels. So we're a Catalytic converter might be a couple hundred dollars to maybe a couple thousand. This diesel particulate filter could run you fifteen to twenty thousand dollars if it's stolen. Which begs the question: Is there anything I can do to prevent this from happening? Uh, there are some companies that make cages to go around the catalytic converters to help keep thieves from stealing them. They could still steal them but they're going to go after a quick mark versus one that's got a cage around it. However, Barron says she prefers not to take that route. I'm not going to add anything, you know, on the car like that because I'm not sure that even that's safe. They're going to get this stuff no matter what. If you are a victim of this crime, calling your insurance and seeing what is covered through them, that's going to be your best bet. As far as those two suspects, uh, investigators right now, they do not have them in custody. But if you have any information, you are asked to give the Madison County Sheriff's Office a call. Reporting live for you all tonight, I'm in uh, Meridianville, Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.